Crackberry.com. Hello, everybody. It's Kevin for Crackberry Live, joined by Adam Zeiss. Hello. And our special guest today, Till Adam of KDAB or KDAB. But yeah, I like K-Dab to say K-Dab. KDAB. That's K-Dab cool. Song. That's cooler. Um, so we met last year at Blackberry Live, yeah. did we not? I remember, I remember an amazing dinner with a yeah, group of us, nice. some drinks, a late <laughs> night, possibly a hangover. Yep. But uh, this year we're good. We're all very on Johnny on the spot. Mm-hmm, and absolutely. you're going to show us some stuff that you're working on. Yeah, first of all, happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> thank you honor. very much. Appreciate After, it. Thank you. You did introduce me into the, the wider Blackberry community. It was a, my first conference last year, and you guys brought me in and Excellent. took me out. It was I'm, very nice. And I'm glad to see you here this year with apps to show off. Yeah, absolutely. A um, little bit of history maybe if you have a, a minute or two. Sure. Uh, this is uh, done with a friend of mine who's a music composer, a movie composer, and we both have kids, um, five-year-old girls, so we started thinking about what we wanted to do. I wanted to play with, with this great platform, make some apps for it. So what yeah. we came up with, uh, some kids apps, which um, I can show you later if you want to, but the one I'm, I'm most proud of at the moment is uh, where, one where we took uh, Lars's music and we found a voice actress, Tasia Valenza, who's, uh, who was in Star Trek, which makes, she, which makes her my absolute hero. hero. You know, everybody who's in Star Trek is cool. And she does voiceover for video games. And so I'm telling you a cool. story at the end of this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You just made this interview like 10 minutes longer because Kevin's totally going to tell you his story right now. So no, no, you might, might want to hang going, out for a little bit. Going. So she's an awesome lady and very talented. So we uh, convinced her to, for the very first time, make apps. And she was very much in tune with, with BlackBerry 10 and what it's about. So uh, we made this thing, which is um, actually a series of apps. This is the big one that contains them all. Um, you, you guys can hear the, the sound. We can't. Um, so there's a series of uh, relaxation scripts where Teja nice. is going through, um, cool. you know, talking you through relaxing, falling asleep. There's sure. short versions, long versions. It's got a lot of content in there, as you can see. So I'm just going to pick one. I could probably use that since I'm bunging with Oh, that's, really, no, that's nicely done. Sleep. Sleep. No. This yeah, deep relaxation, relaxation like, uh, exercise uh, like will help you I'll just pause really it so you don't have too much, too much audio there. So let me just uh, click on this. This is Teja. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's you know very simple UI. Mm-hmm. Try and make it nice and sleek. That looks and great. There's uh, smaller versions of it so with just uh, two, one one long and one short one of each of these. Are you so bringing it to the Q10 also? I already have it running on the Q10. Yeah, Perfect. I haven't had time to to upload it yet. I'm very excited about that one coming out. I think that'll be that would be an awesome device. I'm just thinking about all the stressed out you know workaholic Q10 Absolutely, owners with their yeah. physical keyboards who are you know sure yeah, need yeah. to relax. Uh, Go to your hotel room, you know, yeah. put this on, fall asleep. Too. For sure. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's great, and we actually have a, a, a sale on right now, so they're, they're a buck right now. Oh, nice. And where can we find it in BlackBerry World? Uh, if you search for Samadhi, which is uh, the name of this, uh, this, this group that we created with uh, Teja and Lars, if you search for Samadhi, you'll, you'll find them all. Cool, awesome, amazing. All right. That looks good. You want to hear Kevin's story? Yeah, absolutely. Tell the story, dude. It's a short version, short version. I am a Star Trek character. So if you Google right now, ends in <laughs> Kevin Michalak, you will fu- like end up on the like Wikipedia page, <laughs> which I'm just going to do really quick. No, it's true. It's Bear a true with story. Me. This is it's a true, true story. story. <laughs> and it's funny because, you know, Mobile Nation's Derek Kessler, who I don't think ever really liked me that much. Probably he just found, like, for years, I'm going, I don't think he ever really liked me until uh, maybe, like, three weeks ago when he found out I was a red shirt that lived. You actually a red shirt? I'm actually a red oh shirt. Oh my god, you're Enzin, so much cooler than Enzin I thought Kevin Mitchell was a human Starfleet <laughs> officer that served I aboard Federation worthy. Starship USS right Enterprise there. during the first five year mission <laughs> under the command of Captain Kirk. So I'm like original Star Trek character. Okay. In the year 20, 2270, Mitchell was in the transporter room when Captain Kirk ordered him and Lieutenant Prescott to arrest Spock. Mitchell was so surprised by the order that Prescott had to cajole him into action, but he did end up arresting Spock and escorting him to quarters. I arrested Spock and I survived. You heard it here. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. No, seriously, a Crackberry fan, Dave Galanter, is one of the official Star Trek authors. Okay. And like, man, three years, four years ago or something, he just emailed me one day. He's like, I'm writing a book, a new book for the, for the Star Trek. I'm putting you in it. Cool. And I live. You live. That's it. Till, Lovely. thanks so much for showing was, up. Thank you very much for showing off the app. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. okay. That's it for this episode of Crackberry Live. We'll see you soon.